I'm not in Galloway today, instead I am in the magnificent Cairngorms National Park. It is absolutely wild up here. I'm gonna have to get down, I think. It's currently June, and as such, it's been an absolute scorcher. The midges are out in abundance. I've got the smidge on, I've got the midges shirt on, and I've got my net just down there. Coops is being inundated with them. Every time I come up here, I try and get a panorama of the Northern Corries. And I never seem to quite manage it. It's usually my foregrounds are a way off and I've never really found a good place where they're just all laid out in front of me. But this time round, I have found this pasture and it's just an open vista and hopefully the light will become good tonight and I'll get the shot that I've been after. When the sun began to set that night, I could see that the sky to the west was becoming quite intense. Like the panorama of the Northern Corries, I've been trying to photograph the stunning Loch Morlich for years without success. So I packed up my gear and set off to see what I could do. To my amazement, the scene was perfect, except for one thing. <sighs> the midges. When you're photographing stunning scenes like this, drastic measures must be taken. For example, Midgenet, goggles and gloves. <laughs> Well, needless to say, I was over the moon to finally have a beautiful image of Loch Morlich to my name. So my week in the Cairngorms National Park went on to be quite successful in terms of photography, with each day providing new and exciting opportunities to photograph the landscape. After a week of landscape photography in the northern Cairngorms, my aim was to finish the trip with an ascent onto the plateau and to shoot a couple of very special locations. However, as the days progressed, the forecasts were predicting 50 mile an hour winds with a chill factor of between zero and minus 10 degrees. Having kept my eye on the mountains, it was apparent that the conditions were dangerous, with malevolent, thick and fast moving clouds cloaking the northern quarries. So instead, I decided to cut my losses and revisit a location from early in the week, still exposed to the elements, but a lot safer than the Greater Cairngorms Massif. Now hold up, regular viewers will notice that Coops the dog is nowhere to be seen and that's because in our first ascent of this hill I made a shocking discovery. He was literally crawling with ticks and I mean crawling. I spent over two hours picking ticks off his coat, sometimes five at a time, and then I showered him with special anti-tick shampoo only to wake the next day and find more. By the third day, any stragglers had latched and in the following days I had to carefully root them out. Oh man. Things were so bad that Coops has now been double treated, the car has been fumigated with noxious fumes and my gear has been doused with permethrin. Needless to say, I left him behind for the second ascent and as you can see, he's totally fine now. So let's get on with it.
there's absolutely no chance of any decent light tonight. absolutely wild up here I'm gonna have to get down I think I don't really want to get caught in any more rain because here it comes here. That's me safely off the hill, just heading back towards the car now. Descending that was quite treacherous, because it's so grassy and stony, the heavy rain made it all very slippy underfoot, and I didn't really want to risk a slip onto my arse into all that long grass in case I landed in a tick's nest. But luckily we made it down alright, so another one for the books.